video showing football players taking the game too far have caught the attention of people across the nation. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Tonight, local football coaches are talking about teaching athletes to be respectful on and off the field. Brittany Nicholson joins us now with that story. Brittany. Videos like these show behavior from young players that no parent or coach wants to see. Today, I spoke with coaches who say they try to make each day more than just a practice. Just last week, this video surfaced of a player in Texas tackling a referee at a high school football game. Then this one of a player hitting his opponent with his own helmet. That guy had to get 10 stitches. For coaches here in the Tennessee Valley, those videos are hard to watch. Very shocking. It's uh, disheartening to see young men like that um, allowed to do things like that on the field. And I don't know that necessarily we're allowed, but it was very frustrating because there's a lot of really good athletes out there at all levels. Chad Turner coaches nine to 12 year olds. He says sometimes it's hard to teach kids the difference in being aggressive on and off the field. You know, there's a time and a place. We always talk about flipping the switch. You know, when, you, when it's game time, you flip the switch and anybody that's ever played sports knows that. But we've all gotten into those moments where tempers take over. And that's where you have to intervene and coach through that. Tracy Malone, head coach at East Ridge High, says every day, every lesson is about the bigger picture. Our kind of message this week with all the stadium crap we're dealing with and all that jazz and all the negative. Hey, look, man, compete in everything you do academically, socially. Be the best boyfriend you can be. Be the best football player. Be the best student. He says most of his players don't have a father figure in their life. So he tries not only to be a coach, but a mentor. And I hope that 20 years from now, that's where we start seeing the victories. These kids are graduated, their dads, their husbands. They've not walked out on their family. They're doing the right thing. They're back in East Ridge. They're giving back. I mean, so I don't know if we can, you know, we're 4-0 and right now, but I don't know if we can really count our wins until 10 years from now. Coaches say if a player shows signs of violence, they make sure to fit in one-on-one -on -one time with that player to help them learn how to channel their behavior. Josh. Brittany, thank you. The players in both of those videos were suspended from those games.